Meghan and Harry are dismissive, and we finally understand that Americans are really tired of Sussex. The typical celebrity tries to live a quiet life. Like most of us, they will walk around in casual clothes, eat out, drop their kids off at school, and enjoy life at home. The only time they are in the news is because they have a book, movie, or TV show opportunity, whatever it is, and then it's given to the media to get the word out there, and then it goes back into oblivion until the next big event. I mean, even royals tend to disappear for a few days when they are in the headlines, usually only a day or so unless they are on a royal state visit. And then, of course, the events are reported in detail and people like that. Instead, people don't want to be bombarded with articles about their lives every day. Usually, when they have something real, people want to know about them to tell us something interesting, but of course, that wasn't the case with Meghan and Harry. Day after day, they shoved us in the face with their whining and moaning, showing up and being annoyingly photographed entering the restaurant through the front door instead of the more intimate back door. Because of course they want to be seen. They are on purpose. They are trying to be fun so they don't make the peace themselves. They are encouraged to consider whether this is a response to a coronation call, or what they will do next. And we can say the same about invisible babies, because we've never seen a single piece of artificial since she was a toddler, and we've never seen what the invisible really looks like except for this Christmas card. If kids can or are hired and they do it on purpose, because they want the media to have so much media and speculation about them, then just think of all the amazing things we talk about as kids. And we are surprised. About is there did Megan even give birth to these babies? Was a surrogate involved? Have they adopted children and what do they even look like? Why do we never see them in public? What do they do all day? Do you have friends to play with? The list can be continued, honestly, now we're sick of the antics of these two. Well, I think she might have achieved that goal, but I wonder if she's happy. I don't think so, I wonder if it turned out the way she wanted. I mean, she's only famous, because she married Harry and has since spent millions on selfish PR, however, none of them achieved anything other than fame. Of course, unless they know they are doing it diligently, they won't be known for doing it well. W is known for going out and helping those in need. No, Meghan made it clear when she was a royal that she would only volunteer if she was paid. I mean, who the hell are they, why do we even need to know so much about them? And more importantly, why are people so fascinated by them and their antics? Well it's probably because they are so horrible. I mean they are an awful couple of people, and it's like watching this train wreck in slow motion, as they go down and down the social hierarchy, and it seems like they still don't understand just how awful they really are. In fact, if we can believe the stories that we've heard, Megan still believes that she's going to come up with some great idea that's going to make her dream come true, that she's going to be loved and admired, and she's going to be so popular and also incredibly wealthy. Well, if she thinks that's going to happen, then she must believe that we have very short memories indeed the beyond redemption. The only way for them is to go straight down, which is why most people in the US and UK do the same. Probably most of the rest of the world is just tired of them and we are tired of them. Too many ads and not much to say about anyone or anything. I mean, after all, they're not that funny. They are very boring, honestly, I sometimes suspect that these two are some kind of weird media experiment. But anyway, we Americans don't like Harry because of his lack of manners and manners. Illegal attempts by drug addicts and addiction advocates to interfere with our civil rights by insulting our constitution has not earned him a fan base. I mean, he acted like he was above the law, honey, you sure aren't like that in America, and he had all this false entitlement information. He thinks he knows too much to tell us what to do with our personal lives and how to live in our own country. The abuse of our hospitality and freedom is just disgusting and he is trying to have a royal court in a country that has no royalty and then no mega brand. So, she is a very bad woman.
She believes she is actually more royal than Harry. She thinks she's a queen or princess or something and demands to be treated as such. She wants to be known as the Princess of Macon of Sussex, her RV, and then after her introduction, she wants people to nod when they see her. Both are just two amnesiacs, trying to disrupt and destroy our space. Our culture, our beliefs about our country. So no, of course we don't like them. Neither do we. I in fact, we just want them to leave us alone and get out of America. Not only Americans think so, but pretty much everyone in the world who has access to the internet and hasn't kept quiet about their so-called problems. Also, most of their questions are made up. They attacked their families. They had tell Harry's family, and Harry grew up in an incredibly privileged family, he never wanted anything, but he had no empathy and no idea how hard our lives were. I mean we're in a global recession right now and Harry is complaining about his dad not giving him millions of dollars. So now he has to live on around 30 million or so. Most people are tired of his whining and I'm sorry, but he can't complain about money when you see how much his horrible wife spends on ill-fitting clothes and jewelry. Most also don't respect the fact that Meghan and Harry chose to flee the UK in order to throw all their grenades across the Atlantic. Now, if you don't like them, that's fine, but shut up, because no one cares. Normal people have bigger things to worry about than the mad woman and her not number one problem in another country, and I think the worst thing they can do is that the poor queen is dead. I absolutely despise bullies and people who abuse power, and of course their power is tied to Harry's family and his title. So I think enough is said enough. The media should stop focusing on them all the time until the crown starts. I managed to ignore them until Prince Harry married Meghan. I'm really not interested. I mean, I love Diana and love the stories I've heard about the royal family helping people, but the amount of coverage is just ridiculous now and the family feud has completely died down. I want Meghan and Harry to stay in Canada. I miss old Hollywood celebrities. I mean, this new generation of celebrities is all about themselves. Everything should be about them, and everyone is just a support for the continuation of their lives. Call me corny, but I just don't agree with this new trend. I mean they are very similar to the Cardassians they are really famous for. They are overhyped. They don't have any major accomplishments. Harry was fine before marrying Meghan, though the idea was also based on the premise of the game American Wounded Warrior. So it doesn't look very original. In the US, many people hadn't even heard of Meghan on those cable shows before seeing Meghan and Harry together, and their constant complaints alienated many Americans, because the royals elevated them to the majority money and social status that no one would agree on. Dot never get to experience it so at this point we just hope they're gone.